Hi everyone, I'm Vinod and welcome to Career Bolt. We have made videos in the past where we have talked about toppers in the IIT exam and we have talked about what happens to their careers. So in today's conversation, we're going to focus on a slightly different topic, which is about people who actually go through the IITs or the toppers from their disciplines have got the president's gold medal. And let's look at what happens to their careers. So I was able to pull up data of President's gold medalists from IIT Madras, and I'm going to talk about them today. So, without much ado, let's jump into it. Okay, folks. So, I have data from the official website about folks from 1980 to the current day. So, we're going to look at it in blocks of 10 years each. So, my first video is going to be focused on IIT Madras President's gold medalists from 1980 to 1990 in today's video. And then we'll look at the other toppers in subsequent videos. Okay, so 1980 was uh, Vakita Chilam Anantaram. So he was a person who was the gold medalist and also the IIT topper during his time. And you can see that Dr. Anantaram went on to finish his IIT Madras um, electrical engineering degree, went on to do a master's in electrical engineering and advanced degrees in mathematics from Berkeley. He also did a PhD in electrical engineering engineering from Berkeley. And he currently works as a professor at Berkeley. And before Berkeley, he has spent time at Cornell University for a couple of years. And he was also an adjunct professor at the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research for a couple, couple of years. So that's uh, Dr. Anantharam's profile. And you can see that Dr. Anantharam has probably five degrees, not just in electrical engineering, but also in mathematics. So I think studying a lot beyond your core subject also helps you gain a comprehensive understanding and makes you stand out from everyone else. And when you're considered for faculty jobs, maybe the analysis you bring to the table is much deeper than other faculty members. And that's one of the reasons why Dr. Vankita Chilamanantaram is currently a professor at Berkeley, one of the top schools in the world. He's also won numerous awards and recognitions, and I'm not going to get into it. 1982 was uh, Devdas Mizar Pai. Unfortunately, Professor Pai is no longer with us, so he passed away in 2017. But then he was a professor of mechanical engineering at uh, the North Carolina A&T State University. So that was uh, Dr. Devdas Pai. I tried to get more information about him, but it wasn't available. But since he's a professor of mechanical engineering, I suspect that he was among the few folks who took up a core branch like mechanical engineering, not computer science or electrical engineering, and still was a president's gold medalist. So that was uh, Dr. Pai for you. 1984 was uh, Venkata P. So Venkata Rangan is very interesting because he currently works as a vice chancellor at Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pedam, Amrita University. And he's a leading Indian computer scientist. He was also a person who was one of the youngest full professors at the University of California, San Diego. And he's also worked in the entrepreneurial space for some time. He worked in a company called Yachtley, he did very well. And uh, you can also see that he did his PhD from Berkeley after getting a President's of India gold medal from IIT Madras in 1984. Um, he spent a year in Cornell before moving to Berkeley, which is interesting that you study at a top university, but also move on to a different university because you think that's where you meet the best professors. And um, again, his PhD thesis was uh, judged as an outstanding PhD of his uh, year. And he went on to have a great career both in academia and in industry. So again, an indicator that if you're bright, you have multiple careers opening up to you. 1986 was uh, Narendran B. And Narendran did his uh, bachelor's in computer science from IIT Madras in 1986. Goes on to University of Wisconsin to do his master's in computer science. And also does a master's in mathematics. Goes on to finish his PhD in computer science in 1993. And since then, he has worked in AT&T Bell Labs for a couple of years. He has worked in, not really been in academia, worked in industry, worked 
and Juno as a VP, worked as a senior manager in Google. So that's a fun thing about working in big tech companies is that you may have a great position like being a vice president of a smaller company, but then when you join Google, you are equivalent to a senior manager. That happens, he was also senior manager at Amazon till very recently, till 2021. And he currently works as chief scientist at Aerospike. So that's Dr. Narendran for you. 1987 was uh, Ramesh Govindan. He's currently a professor at the University of Southern California. He is one of the chaired professors in engineering and computer science. A chair professor is someone who has done such fantastic work as a professor that they get additional rank to be a chair professor. So again, Professor Govindan did his bachelor's in computer science in 1987, did his master's and PhD in computer science in Berkeley. Again, an indicator that a lot of folks who go to study at IIT Madras, especially in the 1980s, went on to get a seat at the University of California at Berkeley. This is a common place where a lot of IIT Madras stoppers do end up. He then worked as an associate professor at the University of Southern California. And uh, since then, he's also graduated to be a full professor and the chair professor at the University of Southern California. And he's also been editor-in-chief of the IEEE transactions in mobile computing and so on. But again, I'm not going to go there. 1987 was also another year where there were multiple toppers. So Ramalingam was the other topper. And Ramalingam again has a bachelor's in computer science from IIT Madras. Went on to the University of uh, Wisconsin-Madison to do a master's and a PhD in computer science. Since then, he's actually worked in IBM for a long time, around 13 years, and is currently working in Microsoft as a principal researcher. 1988 was Ganesh AJ. So Ganesh got an undergrad in electrical engineering from IIT Madras, went on to do his master's and PhD from Cornell University. And he took on a seven years to finish his PhD. And uh, since then, he has worked at Edinburgh University. He has worked at um, Hewlett Packard for a couple of years. He has worked at Microsoft Research, and then he has worked as uh, a ma mathematics faculty at Bristol University. He is also a fellow of King's College in Cambridge. So currently works as an associate professor in the School of Mathematics at Bristol University in the UK. So that's uh, Professor Ganesh for you. And again, he has a lot of interests in different sectors like mathematical modeling of communication and computer networks and decentralized algorithms and so on. 1990 is an interesting time where, again, you have one more person who goes to IIT Madras, but surprisingly ends up going to Stanford for a PhD in computer science. So that's Ram Kumar. And Ram Kumar has actually spent a lot of time working in industry and it's not surprising because once you come to the Bay Area, Silicon Valley, you get so many jobs in the private sector which pay you so well that it's difficult to be in academia. So he, Ram Kumar has worked in a bunch of companies. Uh, he has worked in A9.com, Concept.io. He's worked as entrepreneur residence in a venture capital company, and he currently works in Apple. And it looks like he's been having a great career. So that's Ram Kumar for you. So I pretty much come to the end of my discussion for today. So what I would love to hear from you is, um, is there anything you took away from today's conversation? Do you have any further questions? So let me know in the comments below what you thought. And uh, if you want some of the videos to be displayed in my channel, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that I know who's looking at my videos and I can get statistics in terms of what is the videos you like and find interesting. Of course, folks, it was great talking to you. Until next time, goodbye.